Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lab with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in this tutorial, we're gonna see you know some character and string functions available in C. The string functions available in C are gonna operate on the null terminated arrays of characters. You know, in uh, C, a string is nothing but the array of characters ended with the null character. And to use the string functions, we need to use string.h header file. And also, you know, if you guys want to use the character functions. In, in your program then uh, you need to use c type dot h header file so here in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose we're gonna see three functions and these functions are gonna work on uh, the characters that's why you know we're gonna include c type dot h header file so the functions that we're gonna see in this tutorial are called uh, is all num is alpha and is digit okay now we're gonna see this is alpha function this is alpha function is going to return a non zero if the character is a letter so the character passed here if it is an alphabet then it's going to return a non zero value and the character is not an alphabet then it's going to return a value of zero so you can see the syntax of this is alpha function here you know the return value is int you know whether whether zero or non zero and you know as a parameter we need to pass a character so you guys can see here you know it's gonna take the parameter as in that's because you know in C the characters are stored in their ASCII values so you know so when we pass a character here you know the ASCII value of that character will be taken okay the next function that we're gonna see is the is digit this is digit function is used to check whether the parameter passed is a digit or not a digit is a you know value from 0 to 9 so if it's a digit then it's gonna return a non zero value else if the parameter passed is not a digit then it's gonna return a value of 0 okay now this is alpha function is gonna check whether the parameter passed is a character or not and this is digit function is gonna check whether the parameter passed is a digit or not so what if we want to know whether the past parameter is a digit or a alphabet so at that time we can use this is all num so this is all num function is going to return a non zero value if the past parameter is a digit or a character so this is all num function is going to combine the working of these two functions and uh, if this parameter past is not a digit and also not a alphabet then you know it's gonna return a value of zero okay now you know we're gonna see you know how we can use these functions in our program so just for the demonstration purpose what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a character variable and let me call it as ch and next we're gonna use the is alpha function so i'm gonna use that function inside a if statement if is alpha the character in this variable ch if it is the alphabet then we're gonna say i'm gonna use a printf statement and i'm gonna write percentage c is a alphabet and um, let me add a new line here and we're gonna refer the ch variable else you know if this is alpha function returns a value of zero then we're gonna say that you know this wasn't uh, alphabet so I'm gonna copy this and paste it here and I'm gonna say is not a alphabet so now we're gonna use this is digit function so I'm gonna copy this one and paste it and I'm gonna change this one to is is digit if it is so then I'm gonna say percentage C is uh, okay it's gonna be percentage D is a uh, digit and it's gonna be CH and also you know I'm gonna copy this, this printf statement here and I'm gonna replace that with this one and we're gonna say is not a digit okay and now uh, we're gonna use this is all num function so I'm gonna copy this one again and paste it okay now if is all num 
if the parameter or the value stored in the ch variable is a digit or a alphabet then we're gonna say percentage c is a digit or alphabet else we're gonna say you know this is not a digit or alphabet okay that's it i'm gonna save this one okay now in this ch variable we're gonna store a value of a okay. so this a is an alphabet that's why you know each alpha function is gonna return a non-zero value and it's gonna print out this uh, print statement and it's gonna say um, a is an alphabet and uh, each digit function is gonna return a value of zero because you know a is not a digit that's why you know this else part will be executed and it's gonna say you know this a is not a digit and here this is all num function is gonna return a value of non-zero because uh, you know this a is a character okay that's it and it's gonna print you know percentage c is a digit or alphabet okay now execute compile and run okay we have an error okay I forgot this uh, semicolon here so and here also okay I'm gonna execute compile and run okay now you can see here okay a is the alphabet 97 is not a digit and uh, it took 97 because the ASCII value of uh, a is 97 so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this one to percentage C and uh, I'm gonna compile and run this again so now you can see here A is alphabet because of this uh, is alpha function returns a non-zero value you know if part is executed then A is not a digit because you know each digit function return a value of zero that's why the else part and it says A is a digit or alphabet that's because is all num function returned a value of um non zero okay now i'm going to change this one to a, a digit let's say 6 and now i'm going to execute compile and run so i can see here 6 is not an alphabet because each alpha function return a value of 0 and 6 is a digit because each digit function returned a non zero value and also you know this is all num function return a non zero value because you know 6 is a digit and that's why you know it just printed six is a digit or alphabet okay now uh, I'm gonna change this one to the H symbol you know which is not a character not a digit that's why this is alpha function is gonna return a value of zero is digit is gonna return a value of zero and this is all num function is also return a value of zero so execute compile and run okay now you can see here at is not a alphabet at is not a digit and at is not a digit or alphabet okay this is it guys this is about the all num is alpha is digit function in c thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page at facebook.com learning lad and i'll see you in the next tutorial